Can you imagine Triple H and WCW? How can this happen? Well, if we're working with reality, then the click need to be fired from that ethic. After the curtain call. I get into details about how the click went their separate ways, but this is only about Triple H. So, what would he do over there? I think one of the first things he'd do is cut a promo saying, This is an official declaration of war on the WWF. Much like Scott Hall, except this is Triple H, and he needs this uh, for his career. After that, with all due respect, he'd slog his way to the top spot while keeping others' talents down. This is about his quote-unquote legacy he formed after chasing other talents' legacies, after all. As for the NWO, I think Triple H would fit like a glove in that faction, as he's a third man in the Outsiders, but Hulk Hogan is a fourth pillar in the NWO. Since Triple H loves his NWA so much, and WCW already has the Rock and Roll Express, WCW would collide, collude with NWA at the request of Triple H specifically. Or something like that. And then he'll become their champion. In fact, Eric Bischoff, a prominent member of Team Hogan, handed the man a WCW title after all. When WCW folds in 2001 or earlier, and when NWA TNA would form a year later, Triple H's face would be a face no one would miss. As for Triple H himself, this upstart promotion would be everything he ever wanted in a wrestling promotion. He would even marry Dixie Carter in a few years' time. However, that also means dealing with Jeff Jarrett. Also means... Yo, mama! Oh, yep. Got got. Yep. 